hi i did a video reviewing any type and it's a new it's a no taking app and if you haven't watched that video you can go watch it after this video um i um talked about creating a dashboard any type dashboard and showing you how i created my any type dashboard and today that is exactly what i'm going to do i'm going to create a plugin business dashboard it's just it's just an example so it's just a way to show you how to build your own dashboard it's not specific and whatever information you're, you're getting from this dashboard is not how a blogging every blogging business dashboard is set up this is just something i came up with on the fly it's not even how my own real blogging dashboard is set up i just wanted to put that disclaimer out Okay, so hi, if you are new here, my name is Chwe, and on this channel, I share things I discovered and I said for a productive, stress-free, and financially free life. If you're interested in things like that, please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Um, now, without wasting your time, let's get down to the video. Okay, so this is my um, author dashboard, and I'm going to be teaching you to create a dashboard that is actually this, this Similar to this, I won't be doing it like fully showing you how to create this dashboard, just giving you like the everything you will need to create a dashboard as beautiful as this or as minimalist as this. I wouldn't call this so beautiful, but it's minimalist. It looks nice to me, anyways. <laughs> okay, let's start with this. Um, if you watched the previous video, I already showed you this and everything that will be seen here. So I'll just start with categorizing the stuffs on your dashboard which i think is like key it's like in dashboard you can use edits i wouldn't recommend you using callouts i'm just saying i wouldn't use callouts but you can use callouts you can use highlighted text too but i will be using headings and you can also use headings of course um this part will this um section will be called productivity i think this uh thing will just be There will just be three categories to this, even though I think a, your dashboard should be much more comprehensive. So now you can add colors, any color you want, like a background color like this. It could be something like, you can add anything you want. You can add these types of colors. You can change the color of the, the text itself. So that is, you can do that by highlighting like this. Yep, so this is for the color of the text and color of the background. So you can change the color like this. I have not used this actually. But I kind of prefer the background thing, but I wanted to show you exactly what can be achieved. Let's use a different color that looks that is more cohesive with the entire design. Okay, let's try sky blue. Okay, we're not I'm not gonna change this because I you know it's kind of like kind of color there's a word for that color crashing or something like that, but I'm not I change that because I just want to show you how how you can use any type. There's like different ways you can use it. So so you can add columns. It's as easy as just moving things around, putting them in front creates a column, putting it behind creates a column. So it's it's that easy. So you can move it like that too. So, um, I would just want this to be okay. I think the block actually the blogging should be the number one. And productivity can be the end. Let's put productivity at the end. Okay. Mm, now you can add stuff to this to add stuff here. You just look for this this plus here. Add plus. So you can add anything you want. You can add an object. You can add a text. I um I favor the page object type. That there's different object types. Let me show you different object types. Okay. If you want to create a new object, there's different object types, and these different object types come with templates. Some of the object types I created myself, and some of the object types were created by any type themselves. Like most of the objects actually were created by any type. The rest were just me customizing. And my favorite object is actually a page. It's empty. That's why. That's why it's my favorite object. Where is it exactly? This is it. It's page. Where are you? 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 So you can just you can actually search for it here. So make your life easy oh it's you don't need to search for it anymore because i have it as default but okay let's let me use this here to show you myself. just put page and this is it a blank canvas with a title that's how easy it is to build your dashboard okay so this can be the process checklist all right and here let me paste a checklist from here Okay, stay where you are and don't move. Okay. 
Okay, okay. This I'm pasting this from Notion. I think it should it will definitely stay a little old. Okay, so it's easy peasy like that to paste stuff from Notion to um any type, but pasting stuff from Obsidian to any type is a disaster. Sometimes it it's not if it's it won't paste or it will look somehow, it's just that like you just have to do a lot of editing to remove all of that markdown. The markdown I really said I didn't like in my review of Obsidian. If you haven't watched that review, just... okay. So it's this easy and you just copy and paste stuff in and this is how it works now i think that um something i didn't know earlier is you can paste stuff you can paste like link of other pages in your any type atmosphere or i don't know your any type operating environment so for example this getting started uh thing if you want to paste it you know in notion the reason why i didn't know that that was possible because in notion you would come here and you you pick a link something like copy link uh let me let me show you an exact example you do something like this here okay you do something like this here with share and you get the link and you you copy the link and paste it in the page you want to paste it and it'll just like show up like that mention page and voila the page shows directly like that but it's not like that in any type if you want to create you want to copy um a page here i want to put it in another page you're just gonna have to use another method like something like this let me let me let's have plus sign okay okay this is the plus sign and here once you put the plus sign and this comes out you're gonna do something like link link to object this is it's it's actually easier than notion but it will take you a while to to uh get used to it Okay, so when you when you link to an object like that's another page on your website. Every, every if you didn't watch the first video, anything everything on in any type is an object. Everything is an object. Anything is an object. A human is an object. A page is an object. It's the thing is an object. The name of a person is an object. So let's don't, don't forget that. So when you link an, to an object, it shows up like this at first. But my my mistake was I thought it would have to be like this. But you can actually customize this the way it looks with appearance so if you do appearance text it becomes an inline link like this which creates your your dashboard i want to create um a new thing that is like a new object type now to create an object type is as easy as going here you go to the library here this library here it took me a while to learn how to do this stuff so i like i need to actually like show you how this so that you won't have as much of a problem learning how to do this stuff like I did. So you can create a new object type. Every object is a type. One one let me explain something here that can be confusing to someone coming from Notion. So, so if, if you're writing blogs, you can create a, a blog object type so that you have a set where all the blog object types are showing up there. Even if you didn't like intentionally go there, maybe you just have an idea for a blog post and you just like create you just go straight to the plus and you put you just you just go straight to this plus here and you just be like blog and the object type we've already named it so to show up here this is something like let me use so you just pick your own object type and then immediately it populates so, um let me show you an example of an object type um okay object type okay okay let's use this article object type from any type they created there's no template here so yes okay action plan should have templates Okay, so this is the, an action plan uh, object type created by any type. You see it's here that get the ones that created it. So when you put it here, this is the object type. Now, for any type object, if you want to uh, edit them, you have to duplicate them and edit. You can edit the one given to you by, by any type, which is sometimes a good thing because you can screw stuff up while trying to set up for a probably good thing. So this is a, an object type. This is the template that loads up when you create a new action plan template object. So when you when you do a plus here, plus here, and you like, and you put in action plan, action plan, you create a new action plan immediately. Like it's swift and easy. So that that kind of like makes your life easier. Okay, so I wanted to teach you how to create a new object type, and we'll be using we're still using the blog business dashboard issue. So this would be like a blog object. New template. Okay, blog object. Okay. 
uh, topic keywords and outline it's getting dark okay so um it's as simple as that and then when you want to create a new object you just come here and you're like blog object type voila a new object type blog right and you're just like okay this is a new blog so i'm just gonna delete that because i don't need that okay delete move to in okay so now after you create an object type i would advise you to create a set of the object type so that when you create like an object type, that object when you create an object using the object type the object type will populate in your set for example let's create a set set it's a collection of objects actually so um blog object set. so then you now choose the object type that your creating is set for so like now you like blog so you're creating a set for blog object types so every blog object you've created will show up here i think this is pretty easy and easy to understand makes makes life easy for you to create it's like creating templates the object type is your template and the blog object set is like your database where you're keeping the uh the, the new ones you've created it's kind of like notions database but it's not exactly the same thing and something about it is that just like notions database you can customize this anyhow you want you can sort it you can filter it i already explained how you can do this with my first video about any type and i'm not going to do any again because i want this video to be sure even though it's probably going to look uh, um another thing i probably didn't show you in the first one is the other features of i already showed you the graph in in the first one i didn't show you from the home page okay let's go i'll do this later okay so this is the home page in any type uh you can search for any object here i can search for blogging business dashboard and go straight there so that kind of makes life easier for everyone of us yeah so um here you can see stuff that you've favorited like the stuff's here uh let me go to human profile so everything here up here is like your favorite stuff and they'll show up in your home page shop right here in your homepage. then you have history and you have set so these are all the sets you've created like um the reading list the book blog object sets we just created so this this is pretty really useful even if you're using like your phone you can easily click into a set and click into uh, objects in the sets you know as easy as that so easy peasy stuff like just kind of makes your entire life easier in some ways and then there's the bin which you can empty when you're done, you do a lot of stuff here and you just empty out the bin. What is that way to empty the jar? I can't remember again. <laughs> I know there's a way to empty out the bin, but I can't remember how to log in. Oh, yeah. So if you want to empty the bin, you just click links and select all. And do it. Makes your life easier, doesn't it? Yep. That's how everything gets deleted. And there is no there are no objects in the bin oh, i don't think i've shown you shown you this you can create um stuff like okay let me see let me okay then you can add a what do they call okay call out call outs are really like like you know call outs in notion anyway so for example let's say the word my login word for the year consistent Consistency is key in blogging it that seriously. It's something all of us have to learn hard, even in YouTube. So okay, so my blogging word for the year is consistency. So you can also create this. You don't have to create it in your dashboard. I'm just telling you things you can do with any type and how you can use any type. Of course, let's take a glance at our glorious graph view. Okay, so let's take a look at our glorious graph view. It's very easy to customize just as you create each each thing. Everything you create is just going to be like this. So if you have a page, like this is your dashboard, then you create other pages inside your dashboard. Like you create something like, okay, you create, let's say this is your blogging business dashboard. 
link and then inside your blogging business dashboard you're going to create stuff like okay this is like business this is writing this is blogging this is keyword research like all those elements so it creates a very beautiful graph like this that is why i think you should create a dashboard in any type if you're planning to use any type it'll just make your graph view look a lot beautiful a lot more beautiful and it'll be easy for you to like be clicking from place to place i wish i wish actually wish any type had um um i wish any type had obsidian's local graph but they don't have it yet or they don't have it now but probably when they go open source when they open the when they launch the app uh, people someone will probably come up with the local graph if you don't know what i mean by obsidian's local graph i'm going to show you how what that what i mean by that because my obsidian setup is still here so i'll just show you how that works okay um Oh, I also tried, I did try to create um, a dashboard in Obsidian. So let's just look at this dashboard. I tried, I tried to create a dashboard in Obsidian using Kanban boards. So if you're a diehard Obsidian person, you can use this to create a dashboard. And it'll, look, actually, it'll actually look pretty good if you're done with it. So that's, that's something to consider. Um, so this is what I'm talking about when I make, when I say a local graph view. I wish Obsidian, I mean, I wish any type had this local graph view, but I don't. So I'm just content with what I have happening. I think that is all for this video. I think I pretty much explained how to create your own dashboard uh, with the process and everything and what you can do with your dashboard. I don't want to actually spend the time to show you exactly how each dashboard uh, element is created because then that, that would just make life hard for you. You have to watch a very long, boring video, sorry.